race is still on the cards over in the Ailer de Vise. Of course, just four points separate first from second, but who's going to take advantage this weekend? We're going to take a look at all of it next. over in the Dutchland I don't know, I just made that number up of course over in the Ada Blader on the shader Ada de Vizier. and we'll get to that in just one second if you know where you've been smash your subscribe to keep back to all things Dutch football related Blab and Rose related Woo! football related we've got all here boys under Warm Ruski of course the Dutchies took the whole weekend off I think it was the KMV Becker uh, semi-finals last weekend or maybe in the final I don't even know I haven't even looked at it of course but of course we're back to of course top flight action this weekend of course we're looking forward to that and more but of course we'll take a look at it in a second big shout out to my VIPs you know who you are smash your subscribe check out links down below twitter twitch facebook also uh, make sure to check out the patreon if you can help the channel out in another way but anyway let's take a look at the games all the way back of course it feels like a lifetime ago since we were here in the dutchlands but these are the games i expected to one win of sparta rotterdam to go four points clear at the top of the table of course over their nearest and dearest that's psv we'll take a look at them in a minute meanwhile utrecht with a draw against fortuna Siddharth. go ahead eagles big four nil win for wilhelm where they're going to end the season i feel uh, quite comfortably in the top half of the table meanwhile hercules amlo four miles it's final up to third remaining third for them of course breathing down the next is FC20, my boys, of course, into fourth spot right now. Tuna win over NEC Nijmegen, of course, big win for them as well. Uh, big uh, big season for them, really. Uh, PSV, uh, PEC, Zwolle with a 2-0, 2-1 uh, AZ at Mar, taking a big, bit of a, a sucker punch blow there for them. As for, of course, PSV, Tuna win for Wa uh, over Wildwick, can to call that one bang on the nose. Uh, like I said before, four points adrift of IX, but of course, still a game to be uh, decided, which could swing the title uh, either way on this one. Hennevin, of course, uh, did beat Gruningen 3-1 in the end of his arm with the one over Cambo to maintain the top six status for the time being. Let's take a look at that table. Here it is in all its glory. As you see, Ajax four points clear of a PSV, of course, who are seven points clear of a final. Of course, three points, just the three points clear of a 20 at the moment. Down the foot of the table, Spano Rotterdam look like they're going down, but of course, Wilhelm Tway, Peter Ziswell are also within striking distance of them going down as well. Fortuna Siddard, uh, Warwick also in a bit of trouble uh, uh, at the moment, but of course, it could all change rapidly over the next few games, so bear in mind. But it looks like Cambo, Go and Eagles, and NEC Nijmegen, who got promoted last time around, are going to stick around for another season in the top flight in the Dutch. Let's take a look at you guys then. Who's kicking ass in the top flight here? It is actually Shane O'Donnell with eight uh, points on the board for this past week. Well done to you. As for the mini leaderboard, take out Bloody Bow. Jordan, of course, 64 points on the board up there, kicking ass and taking names behind, up, 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 up top, ahead of Russell Frost, ahead of Lionel L, and of course the chasing pack as well. That's, of course, the mini leaderboard. The master leaderboard is bubbling behind the scenes, and you have to wait a little bit longer to find out who's actually kicking ass as we draw to a close. But that's, of course, the link. Let's, of course, take a look at the next round of matches. Of course, coming at you this coming weekend. All right, folks, let's take a look at the next round of matches. Next, shall we? Of course, kicking all off with AZ Outmar up against Helen Veen, of course. Now, this match will actually take place on a uh, Saturday, April the 23rd. Now, these two sides, of course, play each other 55 times to do it since 1996. 24 wins for AZ, 21 wins for Helen Veen, and 10 draws. Of course, just one win in sixth of AZ Outmar in all competitions, of course, 33% for them. I guess ahead of inside, unbeaten in the last six. Uh, picking up 7 for up 7 for winning 3 of the last 4 as well looking very very good for the time being me marking it up for the last round in AZ over at the uh, Afash Stadion it was a 3-1 win for AZ back in of course February 2021 the reverse fixture in head of me was a 3-1 win for AZ Atmar as well in fact AZ Atmar unbeaten against head of me over the last 4 occasions picking up 4 wins on the spin just 1 defeat past 6 of course between these two sides Stretching all the way back to 2019. AZ Atmar, though, of course, picked up 2 1 loss against Zavala. Ahead of me with a 3 1 over Groningen last time around. The odds, though, for this one, we've got AZ Atmar for 94 on for the victory. 10 3 is your draw. 5 to 1 is your long shot. Says Head of Veen, of course, on, on that form, you would back Head of Veen, right? But I'm back in AZ with a 1 win at home. Get back to any ways. And, of course, reset the clocks a little bit. Groningen kicking on forward up against Hercules Almlo on the 24th. That's Sunday. Sontag, of course, at the Hatachi Capital Mobility Stadium. Played each other 37 times to 2005. 17 wins for Groningen, 15 wins for Hercules Almlo, and 5 draws. Of course, back to back defeats there for Grudigan right now. 58% form. I guess the Hercules Amlo side, just 1 minus 6, 25% form heading into this. Last time around, though, in Grudigan, it was a 1 win for Hercules Amlo back in December 2020. The reverse fixture, of course, was a 4 2 win for Hercules Amlo back in December 2021. In fact, Amlo unbeaten against uh, Grudigan over the last three occasions. Uh, picked up three wins on the bounce. Meanwhile, Hercules Amlo with a 1 a 4 1 loss against Feyenoord. Grudigan, of course, losing ahead of me last time around, uh, taking the L on that one. Meanwhile, looking at the odds for this one, then, shall we? What do we got going on? We've got Grudigan at uh, even Stevens for the 11 4. 
four is your Hercules, and 21 to 10 is your draw. Back, of course, to 2 1 for Grunin, back to winning ways, and of course, uh, taking a, a bit of a, a victory over Hercules Amma for the first time in a long, long time. Final uh, up against, uh, of course, FC Utrecht coming at you on Sontag, April the 24th as well. Now, these two sides have played each other 62 times in 1993, 36 wins for the final, 10 wins for and 16 draws. Just one defeat in the past six of her final right now, 75% form. Up against the Utrecht side, just one win of six, 40% uh, form over the last six as well. Last time around, of course, over in Utrecht, scrapped that in final. Uh, in the uh, in the in the league, it was a one-one draw back in November 2020. Uh, of course, it was a drawback then. Meanwhile, the reverse fixture in Utrecht back in August, match number three. It was a three-one win for Utrecht way back when. Utrecht over the draw against uh, Sittard last time, back-to-back -back draws for them. Uh, meanwhile, our final over the three-one win over Slavia Prague last round. Of course, to get through to the latter stages of the Europa Conference League. Of course, they'll be taking on Marseille a little bit later on on that one. Meanwhile, the odds on this one then, shall we? We've got final eleven to four on for the Rookie fifty to four is and thirty to two is your away win. That is FC Utrecht here. Two new win for final here to take the L or take the win. Of course, Utrecht taking the L on this one. Fortuna Sittard. Up against a uh, go ahead Eagles coming at you on Sunday, April the 24th as well. Now, these two sides have pitched 30 times in 1995, eight Mr. Siddharth, 15 Mr. Go ahead Eagles, and seven draws. Of course, just one minute four though for uh, Siddharth right now. 40% form up against the uh, go ahead Eagles side, of course, winning three in the bounce. Of course, looking red hot at that moment. Of course, last time around though, over end Siddharth. It was a two one win for uh, Siddharth back in, of course, November 2017. That was in the Sueta division, Esther Divise. Uh, meanwhile, the reverse fixture, of course, over in go ahead Eagles was a 4 3 win for go ahead Eagles back in, of course, October 21. That's match number 11, of course. Uh, go ahead Eagles picking up a four win over Wilhelm back to back clean sheets for them in fact three three clean sheets on the spin for go ahead Eagles meanwhile Siddhar though coming into the back of a 3 win over Sparta Rotterdam as well the odds though for this one we have coming at you we have Fortuna Siddhar 65 with a victory 20 to 10 is your draw and 20 to 10 is also your win for of course go ahead Eagles back and of course the away win here 2 1 for go ahead Eagles take the 3 points and of course a big win for them as well next of course we have NEC, NEC Nijmegen up against Ajax of course coming at you on Saturday April the 23rd now these two sides have played each other quarter miles 46 times to 10 4 3 wins to Nijmegen 34 wins to Ajax and we've got Nine draws, of course. Just one win in six, though, for Nijmegen right now. 25 percent form up against the Ajax side. Just one defeat at the past four for them. Uh, in fact, one defeat, uh, yeah, one defeat past four for them. 67 percent form for them heading into this. Last time around, though, in Nijmegen, it was a 5 1 win for Ajax back in April 2017. The reverse fixture, a 5 0 win for Ajax way back in Amsterdam in match number one. It was. Meanwhile, Ajax did lose the KMV Bay fi final up against PSV back, of course, last weekend. That's, of course, why we weren't here in the league action, uh, of course. Meanwhile, Twente did beat Nijmegen 2 0 last time round to, of course, take the three points as well. The also for this one, we have 72 2 is your Nijmegen. Of course, 6 to 1 is your draw, and at 11 to 2 on is your Ajax. So they are red hot favourites for the victory on this one. Gonna go with a 3 0 win for Ajax on the road for me to take the, the three points and keep the dream alive. RKC, wow, we're up against PEC Zwolle now coming at you as well on the 23rd of April on the Mandamaka Stadium. Played to the 22 times 2002, 7 wins for Wawak, 6 wins for Zwolle, and we've got 9 draws. Just 1 6 for Wawak, we're announced with 33% form up against the Zwolle side. 2 wins in the last 6 games, 33% form as well. Last time around, though, over in Wawak, it was a 1 1 draw back in October 2020. The reverse mixture, a 0 0 draw in Zwolle back in, of course, November 2020. In fact, the last four matches have ended up all square between these two sides. Just one win in the last six for Zwolle uh, as well. Of course, so the draw is the familiar score. Zwolle, though, with a 2-1 win over Alkmaar last time around. A while with a 2-0 loss against PSVV. Odds, though, for this one, uh, what we've got here, 29-20 is your RKC, 2-1 is your draw, and 50-8 is your PEC, of course. And back in, of course, a draw here once again. One win in the end. Can I separate two sides? Can you? Make sure you get picks down below, and make sure you smash your subscribe. It does wonders for the old algorithm as well. Into the final three, now we have Canberra uh, up against... Uh, PEC, PSV, of course, coming at you on Saturday, April the 23rd as well. Now, these two sides have played to the 14 times in 1993. Nothing for Cambo, 12 for the PSV, and two draws as well. Meanwhile, Cambo, just one win of six of them, 17%, four, five defeats on the spin, though. Up against the PSV side, of course, one defeat in the past six and six seven perform heading into this game. Uh, of course, last time in Cambo was a six day win for PSV. In fact, uh, they picked up a four one win in the reverse fixture back in, of course, August, match number two, of course, uh, this season as well. VTs with a one win over Cambo last time around, uh, PSV with a two one win over Ajax last time around. Of course, they crashed out also to Leicester in the in the uh, uh, Conference League as well, not too long ago. So, a bit of a busy uh, few days it's been for PSV, but of course, hoping to get back to winning ways in the league this time around. Of course, Cambo seven one for the victory, three to one is your uh, three to one. On is your PSV and 50 to 4 is your draw on this. Back in a 2 1 win for PSV here, keeping the heat at the top of the table to keep the gap at four points for the time being. Next, of course, my boys is FC 20 up against Sparta Rotterdam coming at you on Friday, April the 22nd. Now, these two sides have played 40 times in a 2 21 for 20. Of course, 11 wins for Sparta, and we've got eight draws. Of course, just one defeat the past six there for 20 right now, 75% form up against the Sparta side. Of course, one win in the last six, 33% form for them heading into this. Last time, of course, over in 20, it was a 2 1 for Sparta back in of course, December 2020. The reverse fixture in Sparta was a 1 1 for 20 as well. 20 
completely unbeaten against Sparta over the last four occasions, picking up, uh, scrap that, scrap that, reverse it, delete it, and spit it right out, uh, of course, it's actually been 1-1, one, one, lost one, and draw one over the last three between these two sides, uh, of course, 20 there with the two, and Nijmegen the last time around, of course, Sparta with the three, nil loss against Sittard, of course, but the odds here, 15-8 on Giroud, 20, fight 3-1 on Giroud, and 70-4 is your away win, that is, of course, Sparta Rotterdam, back across my boys here, 2 win for 20, over at the uh, Enschede, uh, to take three points, of course, and then wrap it up, wrap it up, it, we will have Tway up against, of course, Vietti's Arnhem, of course, coming out on Sontag, April 24th. Now, these two sides have pleasure 53 times in 1993, 11 wins for Wilhelm, 29 wins for Vietes, and we've got 13 draws, of course. Uh, Vietes, though, uh, one win in six, 30% form for them, up against the Wilhelm two side, or uh, Wilhelm Tway side, uh, of course, who have won the last eight, 17% form for them. At the moment, of course, last time around, though, over in Wilhelm, it was a 2 win for Vietes, that was in the KMV back in, back in December 2020. The reverse, uh, in fact, last time pleasure that in the league was a 3 1 win for Vietes, back in, of course, October 2020 as well. The reverse fixture, though, at Vietes was a, uh, a 3 0 win for Wilhelm. In fact, the Hunter hasn't won uh, this match, of course, over the last five occasions, picking up, uh, and of course, the last time it was, was a Vietes win, 3 2 win, win uh, back in, of course, February 2019. Vietes with the 1 0 in a camera last time around. Wilhelm with a 4 0 loss against Go Ahead Eagles. Haven't scored in back to back games, but the odd tier 12 5 is your Wilhelm, 12 5 is your draw, and even Stevens is your Vietes on this one. Back, of course, the away win here, 2 1 win for them to take it to the house. That is it. That is it, folks. Make sure you smash your subscribe. Also, get in there with your picks. Of course, get your name in likes next time. But be sure, check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, also Patreon as well. But until then, boys, we're done right here. Smash your subscribe, smash the thumbs up. I'll see you soon for the next Dutch action. But until then, boys, we're done.